take nothing, do no harm. That was the mantra of Carpet CEO Ray Anderson when he realized the detrimental impact that industry was having on the environment and after he decided to become an agent of change. In honor of Ray's life, a foundation has been created in his name. The purpose of the foundation will be to support the work of green innovators, educators, and nonprofits. And much of that work will happen right here on college campuses. I'm with McCall Langford, and she is Ray Anderson's granddaughter. And we're here on her college campus at Georgia State. McCall, tell me about your grandfather's legacy. Daddy Ray was recognized as one of the world's uh, greenest CEOs. He was an entrepreneur who founded his own manufacturing carpet company. And in the early 90s, he read a book by Paul Hawken called The Ecology of Commerce. And after reading that book, he completely revolutionized the way that they ran their manufacturing company, implementing sustainable manufacturing options and carpet tiling. And he went on to be a sustainable pioneer. In 2011, um, when he left us, we were worried that we weren't going to be able to carry on his legacy, but the Ray Anderson Foundation has found a way to continue on what he started. You're piloting some ideas here on campus through one of your marketing classes. My grandfather said that at some point the two most important industries are going to collide with each other and that's business and education. My senior class has taken on the Ray C. Anderson Foundation and our intentions on campus are to inspire and educate students about sustainability. The younger generation is the most important generation when it becomes critical for us to start really thinking about this. Getting inside a college student's head early on and really making sure that they understand what's going on, that they really get it, that they get the big picture. Um, that's, that's the role that they play, that soon they're going to be the ones that are making the major decisions and they're going to be making them when it's the most critical. That's the point of this entire project is that we want it to be a campus-wide thing. We want to implement a culture at Georgia State that reflects sustainability throughout itself. And so far it's been a phenomenal response. So your grandfather's left an important legacy. So how would you encourage others to take part in that legacy? We're going to be able to make a much bigger difference if more people get involved. So, if not you, who? If not now, when? So, get out there, you know, make a stand, you know, do something that you really believe in and save the world. Carrying on the legacy, that's just another easy way to be green. At Green Shorts, we tell these stories because we believe that we all have to work together toward a greener future. Our mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video to help spread the message. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe for new videos every Thursday and Saturday.